Lin Chi Kwok joins me now from Tokyo. He is a professor at the Collins College of Hospitality Management at California State Polytechnic University, Pomona. Thank you so much, Professor, for joining our program. Thank you for having me today. Well, if you could put this in perspective, uh, what does this lifting, this final lifting of travel restrictions mean for China's recovery from the pandemic? It has struggled for the past few years. How important is the tourism industry in China and do you expect it to come anywhere close to pre-pandemic levels? That's really a huge step that China make. I think that's important. Um, However, in my opinion, I think China is a little bit behind the rest of the world opening the door to the tourists. Um, so let's say the U.S., for example, I think we have all many flights going to the Europe and Japan and other part of Asia. Uh, they're very busy. All the hotel hospitality industry are having a labor shortage issue. So I don't think the U.S. or the major carrier will have... Um, will be able to add the capacity to go back to China yet. But the Chinese carrier probably will be able to add more capacity and open the door to uh, other part of the world. Um, another uh, important aspect, I think, after this uh, COVID-19, uh, it doesn't matter if China or anywhere, people uh, really appreciate the nature and they also prefer a uh, shorten a shorter distance of travel. Um, so like for China, for example, I think the recovery probably will start from the leisure travelers within China first, and they will probably uh, will go to some natural uh, drive destination with mountain, uh, ocean side, like I heard on uh, Guizhou, Sichuan, those places will be probably uh, t popular. I think also China had a very good um, fantastic network of high-speed train so that also helps a lot uh, with the travel and tourism industry but for international travelers i think the challenge for them is to getting into china with lower flight uh, fewer flights now available going to china and professor uh, let's talk about the chinese tourists going abroad i know there's been a lot of uh, you know demand for that yes. um, where are they choosing to go would you say well, the world actually welcome all the Chinese uh, outbound tourists to, to them. Um, but uh, I think most Chinese, uh, either the visa probably expire or they, uh, the passport expires, so they need some time to renew the visa or to get a new passport. In terms of destination, um, similar uh, situation uh, like the rest of the world, they probably prefer something that's closer to home. Um, so I think Thailand, uh, Japan, Korea, those probably will be a lot uh, more popular among the Chinese. Uh, particularly, I think Ch uh, Thailand probably, uh, they have a, a visa on land um, program or policy with China. So people don't need to get a visa ahead of time. So that helps to uh, encourage more Chinese to go to the destination like Thailand without uh, strict visa uh, requirements. Well, thank you so much, Professor Lin Chi Kwok, for your expertise today.